All right, so these are your sex linked keys. Use them for your problem sheet that we're going to start. Now, I'm going to show you the first one, and um, then you're on your own, uh, except for the back. I'll show you how to start the back side as well. Okay, so keep these handy. All right, the first problem. So, this is the video to get you started on your genetics problems, sex linked traits. All right, and I've done this problem for you. Uh, you need to read the problem carefully so that you know what you're crossing. A homozygous red-eyed female, which is this one, with a white-eyed male, which is this one. Now, I made my key uh, in the spot that I'm supposed to, and then I am showing the genotype of mom, genotype of dad, sex cells of mom, and sex cells of dad. Okay. And then here's my Punnett square. You can pause that and fill it in if you need to. And then my genotypic and phenotypic ratios. My genotypic ratio, I've got 2 X big R, X little r, to 2 X big R, Y. My phenotypic ratio, what they look like, is I've got 2 red-eyed females to 2 red-eyed males. Okay. You don't want to add any information in here. You wouldn't want to say two red heterozygous females because um, then you're giving some information about their genotype. We just want to talk about the phenotype. All right. So don't add any extra info. If you like ratios uh, or percentages, sorry, you can use percentages. So that's getting you started there. Now, let's flip it over to the back. You can continue doing these problems, but I want to show you how to do the back side. Okay? So if you flip it over, we've got a pedigree. And the, believe it or not, these are, are pretty easy because the males, you know their genotypes right away. Remember, shaded is recessive on, in ours, and uh, dominant are the, the clear ones. So there's two, a couple different approaches. I'm just going to start by writing the sex chromosomes underneath everybody. And I'm going to start from the bottom up. Sorry I didn't give you more room. Maybe I'll put them off to the side. Uh, this one is X, Y, X, X, and so on. All right, the next easiest thing to do, I think, is to go ahead and fill in, um, let's fill in the recessive people, because that's one of our rules, is that we always fill in the recessive people first. So um, this is hemophilia, and it's recessive disease, so it's X little h for all the people that are shaded, they're going to have the little h, X little hy, y, um, X little h, X little h for that female. And this male is X little h y. All right, now let's fill in the, the, the allele for all of the males. All right, if this is a dominant male, it's going to be X big H y. X big H y. X big H y. Got that one filled out. X big H y. All right, congratulations, you're done with all of the males. Now let's look at the females. Um, we can give all of, the, all of these females that are dominant, since none of them are shaded, we can give them all at least one dominant allele. So X big H, leave a blank. X big H, leave it blank. X big H. All right, I've got all of them ready now. Now we need to figure out the second allele for all of these females. And I'm, I'm looking at this one right away, this clue child. This X little h <clears throat> tells me that mom must have had an X little h. So give her that little h. Now think about it. The Y K 
came from dad, therefore this X little H must have come from mom. Okay? Here's another kid I can look at, a clue person. I call the shaded people the clue people. Um, this is X little H Y, and if I go up all the way up here to mom, okay, mom didn't give the Y. The Y came from dad. So what did mom give this kid? The X little H. So that's an X little H. Okay, uh, let's look right next door here. Here's a clue child. Here's the mom. Mom must have given an X little H because this kid only has X little H's. So that means one of them had to come from mom. Now this is our person left over, right? Now, now let's look at this one. Here's the mom and dad. If, if you do a Punnett square between mom and dad, um, which I want you to do right now, do a Punnett square between an X big H Y with an X big H X little H. I want you to do that Punnett square right now. Pause the video and, and fill that in. Okay, fill in the answer. Now, you should have found that this girl being dominant, the dominant girls in your Punnett square could either come out to be X big H X big H or X big H, X, little h. So this is one of those people that I call an either or, and I always put a little cloud or something around it to make it kind of stick out. They truly could be either genotype. X, big H, X, big H, or X, big H, X, little h. Okay, we're almost done here. Now your job now is to fill in all of the genotypes. So person 1-1 would be X, big H, Y and so on. Figure out, you know, just write down the genotype of all of these people by looking at your pedigree. Second thing, I kind of messed up my area, but I want you to fill in your key for hemophilia. So you need to look at your notes. It's on the back side of your notes. Find this, and this basically this is the key that you want to put right here. Alright, good luck with the rest of it.